Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Hoare here today, and today, guys, I was I was having a discussion with one of my good friends, and we were talking about Friday the 13th box sets and things like that, and I realized I have a stack of Friday the 13th box sets, and I thought it would be nice to kind of go through history. I don't have every single one, and you'll find out which one I don't have, the one at least I know I don't have, and this is, of course, you know, USA releases, but I've got a, I've got a bit, and it, it, it goes to show two purposes, how silly I am that I'll rebuy things more than once, and just how loving of a franchise this is, and how many fans it has, so we're going to go through all the Friday the 13th box sets I have, and kind of kind of go through history, so to speak, so, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'll I'll give you the most boring one, I think. It's just this bare bones. It's just this 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 release right here. I remember getting it at Walmart. It was like, they don't sell for like 15 bucks. And I just felt like I needed to rescue one of them. And of course, it has the Paramount movies on there. You know, it's got them all individually in there. So we are all familiar with this release. Uh, now, the Blu-ray release of this is the one release I don't have. Um, and I get word that it's not every movie on an individual disc, which is kind of uh, upsetting. But, you know, there, there's that. That's the uh, DVD collection. Now, here's the same version of that, but released initially years ago, the much better version. It's got the lenticular cover on the front, and it says Friday the 13th, the collection. Now, I really do love this set. This set has 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 aged well, in my opinion. It's still a staple in my my collection. I like to I like to pull this out, and it's got information about the movies. Uh, every movie's individual. Now, some people don't like that the fact that the discs are in these sleeves, but I, I never really had a problem with that because I take care of my movies. I make sure that they don't get damaged, and I just really like that. It gives each movie its due diligence. You've got some really cool art on here. This is a nice set, and I really like this version of the collection. Uh, so, like I said, as you can see. It comes in this, this slip case, and it's got the lenticular art. So I really like that. This is probably one of my favorite collections. I wish they had done this for the Blu-ray set, because I would have rebought it with a Blu-ray version like that. Here's the first time we ever bought this set. Me and my, 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 my girlfriend, now wife, I remember we got this years ago. This was like the original limited edition run of this. As you can see, there's a hockey mask on the front. Um... Limited to 50,000, and I'm sure they all sold out, so. Okay, so when you open this up, it comes in this cool case. And it comes with a mini hockey mask. <laughs> As you can see, this is how small it is. So it's not a big mask. And it also comes with, you know, the Ultimate Collection. And it's the same thing. So, cool um, but it does not come with that slip cover that the other one did, which I love so much. So this is still cool. And it, of course it comes with, you know, the 3D glasses, excuse me, the 3D glasses for part three. So fun. You know, I really, I really like this set. It's a nice, it's a nice piece of history that I can remember buying. Uh, we remember getting a long, long time ago. And, uh, it, it's just nice. You know, I'll never get rid of this. So there's the artwork on there. Let me show you guys. It's got the woods in the back. Really cool. Uh, 2011 or 12, I think, is when this came out. Let's go a little bit further back, guys. This is the Crystal Lake to Manhattan Ultimate Edition DVD Collection. Um, I remember getting this at Game Exchange pretty cheap because I was not a Friday the 13th fanatic yet when this came out. Uh, so let's see. Friday the 13th Parts 1 and 2. And they share a disc. Then you have... Let's see. Friday the 13th Part 3 and 4. Shares a disc as well. This is a nice little set. This is like a nice piece of history. Friday the 13th Part 5 and 6. Shares a disc. It has Roy Burns on the front. Uh, let's see, Friday the 13th, Part 7 and 8. Cool artwork on there. And then you do get uh, everything you wanted to know but were afraid to ask. This is a bonus disc. Uh, featurettes, Chronicles. You know, so cool stuff. Um, a nice set. A nice piece of history. Excuse me. A nice little piece of horror history right there, guys. I also have here, this is not all the movies, but I remember getting this at Walmart. Three film collection. These are the New Line movies. Jason Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason. Now, this set does include the unrated and R-rated versions 
Uh, why it hasn't hit Blu-ray, I don't know. Uh, New Line, what are you doing? People will buy it. But this is a cool little set. You remember we get, I remember getting this and being like, well, that's cool. I got to get that. So uh, the, the Jason Slasher Collection. I'll show this because it's not Friday. The, it is Friday the 13th, but it's not what you're thinking of. Uh, this is the complete series, the television show of Friday the 13th. As you can see, comes with uh, all the discs from all three seasons. You know, all those discs are in there. Um, I actually like the show. There's some fun episodes in there. It was a low-budget show. Um, there are some good episodes in there. I think you just kind of gotta, you kind of gotta uh, dig through and watch some clunkers. But other than that, there's some highlights in that show. As last but certainly not least, one of the coolest box set box sets I think I, I kept this with it I don't know why I guess because I like the art of that so I kept that with that so it's a nice tin box um, it's got the mini version of the Crystal Lake book which I highly recommend guys uh, the patch that came with this is on my jacket three glasses in there as well we got artwork from the from the remake on the inside of that and um, I, I just like this you know I really like this like media book style I just think it's nice um, now this is long out of print. Um, if you can get your hands on it though, highly recommend. Um, final chapter, God, what a masterpiece. Uh, five and six. Once we hit that point, guys, they start sharing a disc. I don't know why, but they do. Seven and eight. Jason Goes to Hell and, and Jason X, which I need to watch that on Blu-ray. Freddy vs. Jason gets its own disc. And Friday the 13th, the remake. So... And then you get the killer disc. Now, I believe this is actually from, yeah, that's actually from the uh, Crystal Lake to Manhattan DVD uh, box set. And I like the artwork right there with Jason X. Really cool. Um, so, guys, I love this set. You know, some people have problems with this set the way it is. I think it's fantastic. I love the artwork. I like that they actually used Jason Goes to Hell on the front of that. I thought that was kind of unique and different. Um, I love the set. You know, I don't know what to say. So that's that's my uh it's funny it's like I got I got so many ways I could watch the Friday the 13th films in these box sets so I just wanted to share cuz I think it's it's awesome you know um I've always said that Nightmare on Elm Street was my favorite horror franchise and then every time I say that I say to myself but boy do I love some Friday the 13th so guys there could be a chance that you know one day I'll say I love you Freddy but Jason is my favorite you know, Friday the 13th is my favorite franchise, so. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know um, if there's any that, you know, have, have come by the wayside to me that I maybe have completely overlooked. Uh, as far as, is there any VHS box sets that I'm not aware of? Uh, what else is there? And foreign, what have they done foreign that's really cool? I would love to see if there's any foreign box sets. And I know they got some really cool digi books, uh, I think, that are German and stuff. So let me know, guys, in the comment section below. Let me know which ones you have. Let me know if there's any of the year that I've shown you that you'd like to get your hands on. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is Christian Hannah Horror, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>